What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how to close and end your Google Hangouts Meet session so that your students cannot rejoin that video conference. Google just announced on their update blog two important points. First, only meeting creators and calendar owners can mute or remove other participants in a meeting. Meeting participants will not be able to rejoin nicknamed meetings once the final participant has left. The next step is how do we create a nickname for a Google Meet? There's two ways to do this. First, let's go through Google Calendar, my favorite way to create a Google Hangouts Meet. Let's say I wanna have a meeting at three o'clock, class hangout, and then now I'm gonna click more options. And now I'm going to add conferencing right there. Now you wanna to go to the description box and type this in, http colon backslash backslash g dot co backslash meet backslash and now you create your nickname so I'll call this Charizard my favorite Pokemon now I'm going to save this and there right there class hangouts from three to four and it has the meet and right here is the link that is the nickname for my hangouts meet so if you click on that you will now see the nickname Charizard. Nobody's here, but I can join now. And this right here is my meeting nickname can only be used within our school district. And it still gives you the meet name, the dial-in phone number, the pin. You can add people this way. You can copy the joining info and send that as a link, or you can go back to your Google Calendar and invite students by just clicking here, add guests, and you can add your Google Classroom, so on and so forth. Now it's time to end your class and you wanna make sure that everybody's out. So the first thing that you wanna do, say goodbye to your students, and if no one has left, you still have a couple people in the classroom, you wanna click up here by the people icon, go over to the person, like here is a generic Draper student, I'm gonna click this arrow, and I am going to click remove. Now, click remove, and as soon as there's nobody else in there, now I can go and leave the call. Now, because I was the last person to leave the meeting and I was the organizer, nobody is going to be able to rejoin that meeting. You can use the same nickname and still use your Google Calendar to create that link and it will be the same process no matter what you do. Now the other way to do this is to go directly to Google Meet itself. So if you go to the waffle iron and then click on Google Meet, it'll take you right here. And you can join or start a meeting by creating, clicking that plus button. And then I want to give it a nickname. I wanna name this Squirtle and now click continue. That is now my nickname and I can do the same exact thing. I can now uh, join now, use this as the copying info, uh, get the link from here, put it in my Google Classroom, put it in an email and a text message, whatever you want. So hopefully this has helped solve your problems and if you have any other questions, please leave it down in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button too, it helps out the channel a ton. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.